Hey there my friends, Eric Andreas, your Guitar Sage here. Today we're going to learn how to play Bang Bang, My Baby Shot Me Dead by Nancy Sinatra. We're going to tr attempt to do this quickly. I'm going to play through it from beginning to end while um, looking at my lyrics here. The lyrics, not my lyrics. And, um, and then this way you can, if you're one of a visual person, you can see just what I'm doing. And great, awesome, you'll get it. And for those of you that need more detail, then stick around and I'll work over the bits and pieces. Okay, here we go. It's going to go something like this. <laughs> I was five and he was six We rode on horses made of sticks He wore black and I wore white He would always win the fight Bang, bang Shot me down, bang, bang I hit the ground, bang, bang that awful sound, bang, bang My baby shot me down Seasons came, he changed the time When I grew up, I'd call him mine he would always laugh and say, remember when we used to play Bang Bang, shot you down Bang Bang, you hit the ground Bang Bang, that awful sound Bang Bang, I used to shoot you down. Music played and people sang Just for me the church bells rang And now he's gone, I don't know why to this day, sometimes I'll cry He didn't even say goodbye He didn't take the time to lie Bang, bang He shot me down Bang, bang I hit the ground Bang, bang That awful sound Bang, bang my baby shot me down All right, so let's get into it there. Well, other than a, maybe a couple little flubs there, for the most part, that was right. Um, now, how do I know this is right? Because I've listened to this song a million times, and I love this song, and... and I teach guitar, so uh, I don't know if this is exactly all the places that this that the guitar player was playing this, but um, if, you know, according to the other tabs that I do when I watch someone play live and what have you, I'm getting things very closely. So uh, this is going to be pretty darn accurate, okay? So let's get into it here. Um, no ego involved there. I'm just telling you, this is where guitar players play this stuff, okay? So, um, all right, so let's get into it. So really there's this first riff, that's the one that everybody wants to, to learn, and it's based off of an F minor, a B flat minor, and a C7. Okay, so that's the main part, but I'm gonna show you the riff, I'm gonna break it down here. And then we also have a D sharp major here. We also have a C, another C7, another form of it, and we do this little slide, okay, 
Um, and then there's a little bit here that goes... There's that whole bit, right? And then there's the... And so we'll talk about that as well, okay? So, um, let's, let's go from the beginning here. So, first off, you're gonna... There's some bits and pieces here that um that you got to know if you're if you're a beginner then you're not going to know all this stuff and you, you need to know it really before you attempt this lesson if you've been playing for a while then it's not so so much of an issue but um if you need more help with all that i've got tons of beginner lessons for free um just make sure you click the card or look in the description below my first 30 lessons and a bunch of other really cool stuff for you if you need help otherwise let's jump into it now okay so we're gonna act like we're playing this F minor, and we're playing strings two, two, three, and four, and it's gonna go like this. So that's just an arpeggio. I'm just barring that and just playing the the bottom part of that minor chord, if you will. Now with my pinky, I'm gonna play this melody note. So. Okay, and then it's staying in the same position. I'm going to form that B flat minor, and I'm going to rake across the strings like this. So notice what I did with my left hand there. So really, I'm just holding the bottom part of that that B flat minor chord, but then I have to move my finger a little bit to play the melody. And then lastly, we've got this C7. Now this is a little tricky. You're gonna move your first finger up. Whoops. And so this is two, one on the second fret, on the second string. And then on the third string, you're gonna play Three, one, zero. And then your F minor. So slowly it's going to go. Okay. And that's really going to be the same every time. So that's the only time we're going to cover that. Now, in regards to this little part in the verse, um, where where it goes, I was five, I was five, and he was six. We rode on horses made of sticks. Learn that part right there. So there's three different variations, and I'm going to show you all three variations right now. So the first one is going to go. Basically, what you're doing is you're holding. Um, this is the first fret on strings two and three, and the second fret on string four. And so you're going to strum just strings two, three, and four. It's going to go like this. This is the first go around. You're going to go. That's all you're going to do. And then we're going to come up to this chord. But I'm not going to share that with you yet. We're going to work these, these parts out, OK? So the second time, you're going to go. So two things happening differently there. We're picking slightly differently. We're going the this note and then these two notes. But we're walking it down yet another open, another half step uh, down to the open D. Okay, that's the second time around. The third time around, you're just gonna pick it. Okay. Now, proceeding into the song then. So after that, after that lick, you're gonna go, you're gonna play this form of the chord. And this is a D sharp, and it comes from this, this open C chord. You know, if we were to play it like this with fingers two, three, and four, leave our first finger open and we play it as a bar chord up here. I teach that in my bar chords here on YouTube and in my lessons and everything, every place else. So if you would like to know more about bar chords, uh, go down to the description of the video here and I'll hopefully I'll put a, a link for you to go check those out. Okay, so we're here now and then we're going to um, play this, which is a C7 chord. Okay, uh, 
you should know that one already. If you don't, again, I've got tons of resources for you to know this stuff. I can't be teaching every single thing in every single lesson, otherwise the lesson will be way too long. Okay, so we got... Bang, bang. So when she says bang, bang, you're going to slide down from the, from the eighth fret and hit a full six string F minor chord. And then the, then the third time around, you're going to slide from the eighth fret of the A string back to that D sharp again. And then sometimes the guitar player will will slide to this C7. Just listen for it, and then other times it's just... And that's a... I'm not hitting that high E string for this chord. For, for really any of these chords except for that. For that F sharp minor. Okay? And then we've got the same lick again. Okay. And the second time we got and all that's the same, okay? The reason I'm teaching it to you in modules like this is because if you learn that when we glue them all together, it's a lot easier than, than learning a song from beginning to end, okay? You'll assemble it, but just learn the one part and then the variations, and it's going to be a lot easier. Okay, so now let's talk about the bridge, if you will. This is our last part. So it's going to go... Um, it's going to go... Music played and people sang. Okay, those are the two chords that we know. And again, this chord here, I'm playing the four inside strings. I'm not playing either either E. They're both muted. So, um, music, music played and people sang. Just for me, the church bells rang. Okay, so this is a little tricky, but what I want you to think about here is I want you to think as if you're playing an A sharp minor seven bar chord. So this is a minor bar chord. You get that from the E minor bar chord that looks like that. I'm sliding it all the way up to the sixth fret. And here you're just going to lose that pinky here. So th basically you've got this, and we're not going to play this low note either. But for those of you that know a little bit of theory, this is a an A sharp minor seven chord. Okay. And so the trick here is you're going to go basically now notice really I only fretted one different thing here as I added that pinky the rest of it has to do with what strings you pick so notice okay so for the first few chords here I'm just playing strings five four and three Okay, and notice what I'm doing there with the first with the pinky. Now here I'm gonna go, or I could keep my hands down here, my finger down. See, I did that all in one chord. So here, uh, for the that's strings two and three and then strings three and four. So, and then this part's easy. What you're gonna do is you're gonna act like you're playing an A minor seven chord. Okay, here's an A minor chord. You lift your third finger, your ring finger, and that's a minor seven chord, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna slide this up. This is kind of a Spanish guitar uh, technique or trick. And you're going to slide it up. So here you're in the open position. Then you're going to slide it up to the second fret. Slide it up to the fourth fret. Back to the second to the first again. So it's going to sound like this. And you're just going to play strings two, three, and four like this. So. Okay, let me do 
do that again. So from the bridge, so it's gonna go. Music played and people sang. Just for me, the church bells rang. Do it one more time, real slow. Music played and people sang. Just for me, the church bells rang. And then we're into the third verse. And remember, on this third verse, this time we're going to go. Okay. Now, a lot of people, uh, sometimes they'll write in and they'll say, give me the tab and, and show us exactly exactly what you're doing in every little nook and cranny. And it would just, the video would, one, would take way too long to do. Two, you're not going to really be learning guitar. You're going to be learning how to mimic somebody. Bad way to learn guitar. I mean, not the, not the worst way to learn guitar. It's better than not playing guitar at all. But you want to know the ins and outs of this by learning the theory behind it. And that's the best way to do it. And then to use your ear. So this song is a real ear song. Like, um, there's no drums, there's no anything keeping timing. So that guitar player has to really listen to the singer and exactly what she's doing as to when to play those chords. So he's not stepping on her and he's more responding to her. And this is really important in this song. It's a very... A uh, very soulful song that, that you really have to use your ear for, okay? So listen, take the parts that I've shown you, go back to the song and listen to it, and you're going to hear all those little nuances, but it really, uh, you know, like a picture paints a thousand words, right? Um, in the same way, this music, you have to listen to it, and it's going to tell you little nuances and what have you that even I wouldn't be able to show you, okay, my friends? Now, uh, this took a little longer than usual, but we, we, got, we have to dig in, right? Hey, if you need help with anything, please let me know. I've been teaching guitar for over 30 years now, and I created a special course that's for free. It's the first 30 lessons that I teach all my students here in Nashville. If you were coming to see me one-on-one, -on -one, it cost you about $1,000 to take all these lessons. And I've created a website where you go there for free. The link is below. Check that out. If you're not a beginner, if you're more intermediate or advanced, I also have what ails for, I also have the medicine for what ails you. If you go, there's also another link down below this video, and it's the $1 trial offer to the Unstoppable Guitar System. It's my huge mammoth collection that I've created. It took many years, and uh, it continues to grow, where I do live lessons and one-on-one um, -on -one type lessons like this. So check that out. Hey, my friends, I want to help you play guitar, so please let me know how I can do it. I'm on Facebook and Twitter and all that great stuff. Leave your comments below, thumbs up, like, and all that good stuff. Spay and neuter your animals. Be kind to one another. See you.